Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the first vlog to kick off all of the baby things. Um, baby watch. I told you guys that I was going to do a baby watch series on my channel and I am just going to vlog randomly every couple days whenever I feel like I have something to share, meaning baby things, um, updates, just in general how I'm doing up until the birth vlog. So I hope that you guys are excited. I feel so weird that I am 35 weeks pregnant. I'm 35 weeks and one, two, three, four days. So yeah, really exciting. And I had some things to share with you today. I just got done actually with my 35 week appointment. I just got home and um, I was gonna sit down and film my 35 week update, but I had some other things to share with you guys too that I didn't wanna include in that video. So if you want an update on my 35 week appointment, go ahead and check in on that video. But I had some other things that I wanted to share with you. So I just opened up a package and I got a package from the little one shop and I purchased just two outfits. Um, I bought two other outfits, but Caleb ruined them in the washer. I tell you what, guys do not know how to do laundry. He ended up drying these outfits and they literally completely shrunk like they wouldn't even fit a newborn. So I ordered these two little sets. The first one is this like I don't know what you call it, a camel tone or caramel tone little set with these little bloomers. And then I got another one in blue. He is due um, September 6th, so I don't know. It still is probably going to be warm out. These look a little big, so we'll see if they fit. But I love the little one shop. They have so many cute things. Some of their stuff is kind of pricey, so I always get on there when they are having like flash sales or when they are having... Um, different deals. I got each of these for $10 and for a set that is a really good deal. So I ended up getting those and then um, I'm going to share with you guys some stuff that I got for River at Walmart. But first I want to make a coffee. I'll actually share with you guys what my favorite coffee is at the moment. I don't know why but I just crave coffee all of the time. I love water and I drink water pretty much all day, every day. But, sorry, I'm grabbing a cup. Sorry, I had to get a cup. I pretty much drink water all day, but I just love a good iced coffee. I also use my Nespresso all the time and you guys know how much I love that. But um, I have been loving this combo lately. This is the Stoke Cold Brew Coffee. And this is in the not too sweet flavor. I really like um, sweetened coffee. So this is just like enough. So put just a little bit of that in a cup. And I don't drink like a ton. I tr really cut back since I'm pregnant. I'll probably have like two of these a day, if not one. And then I have been really liking this Natural Bliss Almond Creamer, and this is in the vanilla flavor. I've really been liking this too. It has a really great flavor to it. It's not too sweet, but it's just sweet enough. So this is a little combo that I have been doing, and I'll just pour just about like that much in there. Grab a spoon and mix everything up. I might add just a little bit more creamer. And actually, I'll just take you guys upstairs with me. I, um, like I had mentioned, I have some stuff from Walmart to share with you guys that I got for River. I love boy clothes i love that i have baby boys to dress and i feel like sometimes it can just be hard to find some good boy clothes and i always find um some really great things at walmart so let me grab the stuff that i got for him 
Okay, sorry, the lighting is terrible in here. Let me see if I can fix it. Maybe put you guys down. Sorry, I'm sitting in his chair now, goodness. Let's see. Okay, this is probably as good as it's gonna get. Sorry, the lighting is terrible in here. But I love getting clothes at um, Walmart for River. And I always get so many questions about like where his clothes are from because a lot of people think that he dresses cute, which I love because I love dressing him and like cute shoes and cute outfits and that. And I also love, you know, finding things at a really good price. And I think that no one really talks about Walmart ever, which is so shocking to me. So I purchased pretty much the same pants for River last year. And I was in Walmart with my mother-in-law and they had these pants out. So I ended up just getting him a ton of them. I got them in a 3T. Obviously, he's not going to be wearing sweatpants now, but in a couple months he will. And um, since they had them, I just wanted to pick them up. So I got him this camel pair. Literally how cute with a t-shirt and vans. Love that. And all of these pants were $4. So definitely a really good deal. So I got those, just a plain black pair. I got these, which he had these last year, which I really liked because, you know, you can pair so many things with them. Even when they wear like little t-shirts and that with vans or tennis shoes, it is so cute. And then he had these blue ones as well. So I got him the blue ones. And then I got him these, which I love. These are so cute. See the little lightning bolt on those. And I got him those pants. And for jeans, he actually has jeans. Let me see if I can find them. Really quick, I'll show you guys. Um, Actually, he does not. Oh wait, here's a pair. So these ones I haven't tried on him. Actually, I got these a while ago and he just hasn't worn them. These are 2T, but these are from Walmart too. He literally hasn't worn them. But I like them because of the design um, on the pe knee pads. And then they have a little cuff. But my favorite place to get jeans for River is Target because they actually have little joggers and they are seriously the cutest jeans. They have a little drawstring and everything on them too. So that's my favorite place to get jeans for him. And then I got a couple um, shirts. These were all $4 too. So really, really affordable. Um, and the brand is Granimals if you guys are curious. So I ended up getting this shirt. How cute. This has little dinosaurs on it. And it's the same on the back. But I thought that was adorable. And honestly, on a daily basis, River will wear just like sweatpants. He doesn't need to wear jeans every single day. <laughs> We're comfy over here. So, and then I got these, this shirt, which I thought would be really cute with jeans and tennis shoes. And then I got him this, which I love like vintage tees and um, like band tees. I think that they're so cute on little kids. So this reminded me of that, so I got this one too as well. So everything is really affordable. These are all 3T. He currently is like in 2T, kind of 3T, but I'm gonna save all of these clothes for, um, I'm gonna save all of those clothes for the fall, just because he, you know, he doesn't need to wear them right now and he is still wearing all of his um, shorts and like short sleeve shirts and everything like that. So yeah, if you guys are interested at all, like go to Walmart because that is like the best place to get stuff. Charlie, don't. Charlie, come here. Come here, bub. You wanna say hi? <laughs> Anytime that I try to film anything anymore, Charlie just makes so much noise or you start chewing on a toy or you just start crying because you want to be held. Huh, you're the middle child, aren't you? Hmm. My baby. He's gotten so big. And I love you so much. While I'm up here, I guess I'm just totally rambling. 
But while I'm up here, I guess that I'll share um, the crib with you guys. We have some clothes in there. Caleb and I have been trying to go through like all of our stuff too. So uh, we just have some random stuff in there. But basically what our plan is, I'm pretty sure that I've shared this with you guys before, but it's so hard for me to remember this pregnancy brain is no joke. But basically this is the nursery, which is the nursery, which is River's room. And we are going to be transitioning River probably like over the next three or four months into our spare bedroom. And that room is just a lot bigger. There's a lot more space. It's not so small like this room. This room is perfect for a nursery. And um, basically all that is going to move into that room is River's crib. We're going to keep all of the other furniture in here and his brother will move into this room when he is ready for a nursery. We always keep our babies with us for like the first three or four months in our bedroom. So it's not a rush. I'm gonna get wallpaper. And I really want to make it like really special and really cute for River. He loves safari animals. So I want to do like safari wallpaper and um, just really make it like really cool and special for him. So I, um, we're gonna be doing that, making that transition. But over the next few months, like I'm gonna do it really slow. And we ended up buying a crib from Ikea for baby boy and we have that set up in our bedroom and I went back and forth for a while about how I wanted to go about all of this like this transition and what I wanted to do but when we had River he slept in like a bassinet and then after a couple months I think like after two months we ended up moving the crib out of his nursery into our bedroom because the crib was just sitting there. We weren't using it. I didn't like the bassinet that we were using. It just didn't feel safe to me. So we ended up transitioning him into our room and then he was in our room for a while. And so when Caleb and I were talking about exactly what we wanted to do and how we wanted to set things up, I said like, let's just get a crib and just set it up in our room and you know, we'll just go about it like that and just do it that way. So that's what we did. Um, I've shared this Delta crib with you guys that River has, and it is a beautiful crib. I love it, it transitions, and this contraption that's over his crib, I don't even know what you call it, but he was having an issue every single night with throwing his, um, he has like a ton of stuffed animals and he would throw out his binky and all of his stuffed animals and he would cry and then he would think it was a game and we had like a week stretch where we weren't getting any sleep and late at night I was on Amazon trying to find like a solution and this um, tent came up and the reviews on it were amazing. I'll link it down below for you guys but I know it looks ridiculous but it's completely safe. You just zip them right in and he can't throw any of his things out. And actually it's so funny because I saw Jana Kramer post about it and she got it for her son and I thought that it was the most ridiculous thing. And then when we started having issues with River throwing stuff out of his crib, I was like, screw it, I'm buying it. And it's just so funny now because I told Caleb he can't climb out of his crib and he does really great and I'm like he can be in his crib and not transition into a big boy bed until literally he you know we have to transition him so um we have the delta crib but I love that and we'll probably end up getting the same um bed for his brother just so they have matching beds because eventually we want them to share a bedroom together so I just went to a whole spiel about bedrooms and all of that but um, I just really have always wanted our kids to share bedrooms. I think that it's really special. Caleb and his brother always shared a room and I was the only child so I never got to experience that. And um, it would just be nice in general to have an extra bedroom. Um, you know, if we ended up changing this into an office or if we have another baby, um, you know, ha just having an extra nursery. But I am done for a long time. I told Caleb, like figure something out we're not I can't do this again for a long time my body is tired I want to get back into shape and I want to just focus on the boys and you know just focus on our careers and that for a while and you guys know if you've been pregnant you I feel like every um 
mom especially goes through the same thing where they're just over being pregnant and just all of the things. So I'll take you guys into our bedroom and I'll share with you the crib. Okay, so this is the crib that we ended up getting from Ikea and it's really beautiful. It's really nice. This was already up in our room, but it is pretty close to the bed. I would share our room with you, but everything is currently a mess. So over here, we just have a little caddy full of diapers and all the baby things in this basket. I have clothes and extra blankets. Um, this is just my breast pump and I got some steam bags, but this is the pump I ended up getting. You guys are interested I ended up getting the spectra premiere breast pump so I'm really excited about using that they only had pink or I would have gotten blue but who really cares so I ended up getting that pump I need to clean everything and sanitize everything and then um like I said, we have this little caddy full of stuff. This is Caleb's side because he'll be handing me the baby at night and that he just likes having the baby on his side. So I'm totally fine with that. And then on my side, I have a little caddy too that has like all the nursing things. So we pretty much are all set in here. I just need to get um, some crib sheets and that is basically it. And while I'm at it, I will share with you guys what my belly looks like and just how I have been feeling I am 35 weeks and currently none of my clothes fit thankfully it's been cool the past couple days and I've been able to wear my maternity leggings but as you can see I am really stretched out nothing is really fitting me anymore not even my dresses so I basically wear like softy shorts every single day and um yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> I'm just trying to wear whatever is comfortable and whatever I can fit into. But I have been feeling lots of period cramps and just um, like a lot of Braxton Hicks. But he is measuring on time. He's measuring good. Everything is looking really good. My preeclampsia is looking good. So I am just really thankful for that. But like I said, I'm going to continue to vlog just about every day or every other day and I'll probably combine some vlogs just so they don't get boring and repetitive but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you are excited for this series and just to follow me along and just prepare for this baby to come. I'm excited to look back on these videos and just to share this special moment in our lives with you but Anyways, I hope that you guys are all staying safe and healthy. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in a couple days in a brand new video. But life is one big riddle of the future and what's been. Cause it's the way it goes, and I will never.